Good morning prep video for Monday, May 6th. Hope everybody enjoyed their holiday weekend. Friday, we had non-farm payroll numbers that came out. Uh, I, I, I thought it was going to be on Thursday, but actually ended up being on Friday. Usually, they hold it a day early when you have a holiday uh, on that particular Friday. But nonetheless, we had uh, pretty bad numbers. And look what happened here on Friday uh, when, uh, when the U.S. markets were closed. Really got destroyed. I mean, the market just sold off miserably. And uh, we're really holding these lows. We're not really bouncing too, too much. Uh, we're stuck here at that 20.44 area. We're down about 14 and a half, 15 handles. Um, so I think it would be safe to say that uh, we're going to be looking to sell rallies today if we can get a decent enough, uh, decent enough bounce up to the upside. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be looking for today. But here's also another thing that's been um, that I've been pointing out the last uh, last week. Pretty much every time I did the video was the transportation sector. They have been um, really not doing much of anything but going lower every day and uh, transports is the leader of the five that we look at that i show you uh, on a regular basis and the transports are giving us a big red flag here guys now that does not mean that uh, the transports uh, will take every other index down but it's a good start to say that if this uh, the in the transportation sector does not recover uh, then i'd be looking for some further downside and possibly a near-term correction here now april is a very good month Right. Uh, but that does not mean you want to just, you know, go ahead and say, oh, well, seasonal trends uh, uh, and uh, seasonal tendencies to be uh, to be good uh, for equity markets. And uh, yes, they do. But remember, we're at lofty levels so that anything could happen. So I wouldn't want you to go out and just say, well, I'm going to start buying every dip here. OK, uh, we have to take it one step at a time. So it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, this week. But we'll do a top down approach as we always do on Monday. And here's that five minute chart that I showed you guys. So. Pretty scary stuff if you were if you didn't know what was going on on Friday and you come in this morning and look at the future down big like that. That's why I personally don't like to hold anything going into a long holiday weekend or for that matter the last several years uh, holding stocks or any type of commodity um, unless you know what you're doing and you're properly hedged uh, really could be detrimental to your trading account. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see what we have here. Let's look at the banks. You know, banks and financial always like to take a quick peek. Really not doing much of anything. Still holding above that um, that 200, uh, but obviously this morning with a sharp with the sharp um, decline in the futures. Remember what I'm showing you t right now is going to change dramatically on the opening because we were closed on Friday. Okay, so XLF here probably going to open down somewhere in this area here. Um, but again, as long as it holds that 200 for now, uh, would be positive. And here's that that uptrend line. That's going to need to hold that uptrend line. If we break that uh, uptrend line, guys, on a closing basis, weekly basis. We get it two weeks below that, and I think that the markets are due for some sort of a correction. Then we'll put some Fibonacci retracements for some downside targets here. Okay, Spiders Weekly, again, holding above the 20-week moving average, holding barely above this uptrend line as well. If it does break this on a closing basis and we get another um, close next week, if this were to happen, uh, then we would look for the 50-week moving average to be your next downside target. As far as the daily chart is concerned, again, this is going to open up pretty big to the downside. Uh, so probably looking at um, getting close to that 200-day moving average. Now, this is uh, interesting because we're getting the transports, I believe, close below the 200 on, for on Thursday. So we want to watch and see where this goes because we have to pay attention to uh, not only now start looking at some indicators, but we also want to see um, if the other indices uh, all are in sync with each other. Again, pushing uh, price to the downside. So right now, spiders um, holding up pretty well, but again, Lower lows and lower highs. We have a bearish symmetry here. We have below the 50, below the 20, and above that 200. So that next downside target is going to be this little consolidation area of 204.40, which that should break this morning. And then uh, that next target will be the 200-day moving average. Diamonds, same thing. We should open down pretty hard. Uh, diamonds are now down about, oh, uh, the, the YM, which is the Dow Jones Index uh, future, is down 127 handles. So that should open down right to that 200-day moving average. Transports. Now, this is what I wanted to show you. The weekly. We're barely keeping above this uptrend line, which coincides nicely with that 50-day moving average that you see here in red. If we break it, remember, uh, I like to see two-week closes below, and then uh, we would reevaluate. But that's not going to be a good sign, guys. If you look at the daily chart, you could just see how miserable this market, um, as far as, excuse me, this sector 
has been, been, been performing, this index, excuse me. Um, th this is not a good sign at all. Uh, this is really a bad sign here that the transports cannot move higher. And as you can see, we had that bear flag that we indicated and we broke below that bear flag, triggered the downside move, and now we broke below that 200, which we will be now way below that 200 on the opening today. So this is not a good sign for U.S. equities. Okay, IWM, let's take a look at that. Now they have been holding up relatively well above that 120 area, that's fine. Uh, and it's been actually the strongest of the four uh, excuse me, of the five that we follow. And if you look at the daily chart of the IWM, you could see clearly um, definitely gaining some strength. And again, uh, part of the reason, too, is that the banks haven't really been getting clobbered. They've been doing okay. So that's a good sign. But again, guys, once once the selling really uh, holds on, holds true to all the other indexes and, and sec certain key sectors, I think everybody goes. E everything gets uh, sold off. Now, that does not mean I'm looking for a crash. All I'm saying is that we need to be careful here because... Um, any pullback could be um, a sign of a possible correction that that could lead into a decent sized correction and remember I do understand that April is a very good positive month for um, for equities but at these lofty levels and we're getting some dismal non-farm payroll number reports that's not a good sign okay so we just need to be aware of that I uh, wouldn't be looking to start adding to your positions anytime soon right now uh, Q same thing technology look at that we're down below the 20 below the 50 next downside target will be probably this horizontal line which the 200 would catch up so uh, keep an eye on what's happening for today guys because it, it should be a decent trading day now we're going to open up very very um low uh, as far as percentage wise um we're going to be down uh, at some uh, low target areas already so i wouldn't want you guys to be short in a hole here so we're going to need a really decent pullback um excuse me a retracement rally to at least look to get short for the day so let's see what happens uh, maybe maybe the shorts cover early on we get a decent bounce and then we can look to short the market all right i hope that helps have a great day and we'll speak to you tomorrow take care